scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Your name is God. 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 Your the voices again one more time sing from your heart.
I love you more than life. Shiba la kataba. Hallelujah. Let me teach you a little song. I wrote this song years ago. It's a very simple song. It says, let the weight of your glory fall and let it cover all the earth. Oh goodness, the presence of God is mighty in this place. Mighty. 
Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. That's all to the song. Sing it from the depths of your heart. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. That's our desire. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Can you sing it? Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover. Lord, let your Shekinah mantle us tonight. Let it cover all the earth. Come on, lift your hands, lift up the instrument. Let it cover all the earth. This is our desire, oh God. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory. Go ahead and worship him. Your presence is mighty in this place. Mighty in this place. Yeah. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. Say, Maria, say, Maria, Mosota, Baba, Baba, Baba. Shema sutani ya ba 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 Shere koni ya mala na 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 mos Ya na na mos Ori ya na na mos Mama masono mos Sigele ne 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 mos Ya na 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 Go ahead and sing in the spirit Go ahead and put melodies upon your prayer Shama na 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 mos Soto bakata balada bakata Brenda gade Rakata balada Seba ba ba ra da ba la da 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 bo, su ba da 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 bo, su Maria da 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 da. Hey yeah. Kana mo se da 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 bo, se da 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 bo, ra ga da ma la da 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 bo, se da 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 bo, se da 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 da. My 
mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, say, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Oh, he arises as a man of war tonight. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Kappa te kappa. Zen te kappa. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Zena na maliana na mots. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. Jena na mania na na na. King of kings. So let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? The flood gates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Would you open the flood gates of heaven? Listen, I hear the rain, I hear the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Tonight we see the rain. We see the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the blood gates of heaven. Go ahead and worship. Let it rain. Open, open the blood gates of heaven. Let it rain. the rain is open the flood gates of heaven Lord we hear the rain we see the rain let it rain let it rain let it rain let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Siga bala da bande grateka pada bala. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. 
Sata prakata baba bakata prende gata gata bala da bo. Siga de bala da da ba kodo prakata bala da bakari da 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 ba. Mana mana na mala na ma kodo ba koso prakata bala da ba. Sopra toko to bakata bala da ba ba ba. Rada bala na prende gata bro soto bala da ba kata prende gata bala da ba. Shekete prondos koprosh ko balada baria da balada da ba. Mama la 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 mo subaria da 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 da. Sega la la mo subaria da balada da 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 ba. Hallelujah. I arise with healing upon my wings. Say the Spirit of God. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. The healing power of God is in this place. I arise with healing. Adonai. Lamb of God, forget about the rain and worship. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, let your kingdom reign in my heart. Adonai. I do not. I do not. I do not. Sing it together. I do not. I do not. Shibala balala bakora da balada ba. Zibron dogo balaka press ke bata balada ba kata prada gade balade bosh. Zikete ba karia da baranda basko prando go pashti ba. Stebele de ba gada brande gede bele de ba gada bala kaso do ba koto brande gete. Zeke de gede ba gede ba gada bala da ba. Go ahead and pray in tongues. Edify your spirit. Zata prata kata bala da ba kata prata kata bala da ba koso prando go dosh. Shaka ta ba raba da bala da ba kata prega de bala de bos. Mampra pata kata prata kata kata bala da ba koto fras ke bala. Shaka ta ba la da ba. Eka ta pros ke bande ke le baria ta baria da ba 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 ba. Shoko to ba ka preka ta bala da ba. Enkra ta kata le koso posi ma da kata. Shaka ta raka to skopo to koto pros ke bala da ba. Meka le bas ke bria da bala da bas ke prono shubai. Rabba de gade bala da ba koto fra gade bala da ba. Aparete ba koto pros ko prendi gade ba. Lekate pros ko bandi kreski ba lekate. Sho proto koto fra kate bala da ba kate fa. Sho to ba koto fra kate le ba koto prendi gade. Shaka de gade gade bala da ba koso to fra gade bala da ba kase de gade ba gade pros kapada. Shaka ta ba ka ba ra ta ba, shaka ka ta ba ka ta ba 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 ba, shaka ta ko so to ba ko su ba ka ta ba la da ba. Men ta pra ta ka ta pra ka ta ka ta ba ka ta ka. Len de ko so to ba ko to fra de ka de. Ekra ta ka si ka ta la ko to ba ko to fra ka da ba ba ba. Me ka ta pro ko to ba ka ta le ka de. Shaka ta pra de ka ta pro ko pro ko ba. Ra ka ta ba la ka ta pra de ka ta ba la da ba. Lega te prontos ko pronto ko to bos. Lega te prete ke te pres ke te beke te. Lega te pros ko ba 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 ba. Pray, 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 pray. Build your spirit. 
make intercessions. Let the make contact with heaven. Rise through prayer. Lebron's Kebosha Balke Bront Kebariata Mekata Prosko Balabada Badakatai Shekata Lebo Supratiadabash Take charge over the heavenlies Shanta Proski Batikata Tata Pakata Shakata Tata Pakata Palada Bos Men ought always to pray and not to faint Shoto Tokoto Prokoto Palado Bokoto Fresh Dekata Balibati Abalabat I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication. Makata prakata parakate. Shakata bakata prokata pokosakate. Shakata rekate makapos kambatia. Akrakata gadegada bagada 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 Mekata protis kabaria da bas kam pros kebos ekrata tata pokoto prons ke ba 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 lekata pakora sikata bala da ba shakata pros kubari kete zinde kete lekete ba 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 super papa kata bala da ba kati kada bala da ba come on pray koinonia sikate kete ba 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 Shekatele baka pronze bata katai. Shekatele baka taba ba 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 ba. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Shekatete de baladabash. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. This is koinonia. Haprande kaparatos kopradi baladaba. Bala bala boso produce baladaba. There's an army rising up. There's an army. Rising up, there's an army. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There's an army. There's an army rising up. Don't break every chain. Lift your hands, everyone. Shikapa tatabala daba. Lift your hands. Sikaparende kabala daba shikatai. Mande krada la pako prondus kubali kariada. Zete parata parikatai. Zekata repot sukotoi. Shikelepo sataya. Keep your hands lifted up. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to be touching men, touching women. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's what happens when we worship. Yeah, yeah. The 
the Lord is breaking limitations the Lord is breaking limitations breaking limitations breaking limitations breaking limitations Hallelujah. 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 Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We are going to pray in tongues. Listen, within these five minutes, there will be a busting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. The Bible says, while they prayed, the Holy Ghost said unto them, Separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord, as we pray tonight, let there be impartations, let there be openings. Openings of portals, openings of vessels. Pray, pray. So toke teke teke pakata. Bambra teke te poko so prekete. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Skete baka pra teke te. Sete la pariada bakataya. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, access, access. Access is being given to men. Access to deep spiritual things. Access, access is being given to men. Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. He told Jacob, For as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. <laughs> Shatata pakara baba bakata rakata protokoto polodobos shakata kata rakata pakoto bos manta prata kata lekata proskoto prokotos embrakata baba 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 come on lift your voice and pray Take 
Because the voice is. Sing it one more time from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. This is koinonia, an experience of intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a family that has been on my mind. I don't know if they are here. The family with the... Is it the mad person now? Or the... Are they here? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We're in for an experience tonight. I began to see this right from the morning. I'm telling you, chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. I still hear this in my spirit. Chains are breaking. 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 Oh, let the chains break. Every chain over everyone here. Every chain. Every chain, every chain, every assault of darkness, every chain by the fire of the Holy Ghost, every chain, every chain, every chain is broken right now. Chains of habits, chains of limitations. You're the person. Please confirm it. Where's the family that there was a there are people that spoke to me about someone. They are not here. Someone who got mad or psychosomatic. It's not a word of knowledge. There is a family that I'm supposed to minister to here. Okay, if they are not around, that's okay. Why are you here? Your brother, your elder brother. What's wrong with him? Come. How many years? Seven years. Where is he? At home. I'll pray the Lord will use you as a point of contact. Lord Jesus, let your power touch the brother, even through him, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me many ladies with abdominal pain. Just place your hand there right now. The Lord is showing me many people, especially ladies. Hallelujah. I'm just going to rebuke it and I see like, like they look like guns, but it's fire. Literal fire. It will live and it will hit you and that is the end of it. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I cause that pain. Go now. Go now. 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 Every devil of darkness responsible for every pain, I cause you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed. The power of God is healing them right now. Right now. Right now. You may not even know right now. The sign is that it will touch you. It must touch you. You can't stand on your feet. If you are part of this list, it will touch you. That's what the Lord is showing me. 
Kaparate kachetetetebaka. So protokoto balaba kata pati adaba. Sonto pakaria kata. I cause that pain. I cause that spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hand on your chest. The Lord is going to rebuke blood conditions right now. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. All those who are part of it, there will be this same fire. It will come upon you in a mighty way. It's a sign that you are the one God is touching. This is not something vague. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, blood conditions i speak to you all those affected may the fire of god set you free now 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 the power of god is touching people right now right now i cause that devil i cause that devil i cause that devil i cause that devil in the name of the lord jesus christ i cause that spirit I cause that spirit. I see visions of the spirits of infirmity. Living people. Living people. Living people. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cause that spirit. The Lord is showing me two ladies. And I'm seeing a guy. You have a problem with sleeping. You don't sleep. No matter what happens, you don't sleep. You just stay awake and sleep never comes. Where are they? Two ladies I see the Lord showing me. Please, let's save time. And one guy. Please save time if, if, if you are the one just so that save us all of the time. How long has it been? Huh? Six months. How about you? Huh? I'm seeing your hands chained. Your own situation. There's, there's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. There's still one more lady. There's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. Hallelujah. Come, I have to pray for you. Yours is more than a sleep problem. Hold my hands. I cast this chain in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go right now. And I break by the power of the Holy Spirit. This spirit that causes you not to sleep. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. How many months? Six months. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of the holy spirit be free right now you will begin to sleep normally in the name of jesus christ the lord is touching someone's ear right now as i speak the lord is touching someone's ear you will literally feel as though a cotton board is put in your ear and all of a sudden it will open up and become clearer thank you lord jesus i give you praise Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a lady of a breast lump. You began to see this. You've not even shared it with many people. Breast lump is living right now, right now, dissolving and going back to hell, never to return to you again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are four people. Listen. There are four families that as I speak right now, the angel of the Lord is going to their homes and is causing major breakthroughs. Listen. Listen. It's not, it's not just prophecy for everybody. Four exact people. One. There are four of them. Two. The angel of the Lord, literally, 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 
is entering these homes and they are receiving dramatic breakthroughs dramatic breakthroughs the Lord is showing me over 10 people and I see academic chains this is what I see 10 people 10 people and this is not your fault 10 people I'm going to begin to count 1 to 10 and goodness it's like fire 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 I curse those spirits 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 I curse those chains I curse those chains I curse those chains it comes to an end I tell you it comes to an end that chain breaks now and forever it comes to an end hallelujah let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing if this is all he does tonight that's all right hallelujah hallelujah I'm seeing two eyes in the spirit and God wants to open up at least 19 people here in the realm of visions and supernatural experiences listen right now in the name of Jesus Christ prophetic fountains those eyes in the spirit shake it at a parata at least 19 people at least 19 people shataka bariata fire physical fire coming upon your eyes physical fire coming upon your eyes open them up oh god to these dimensions of supernatural revelations Hallelujah. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord. And God wants to cause barrenness from two families. Now, two families, right now, just two families. Father, wherever these families are represented, right now, let your power visit and set them free now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, this row. All of you here, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. From the front, right to the back, there are people that God again is visiting their families. Families, families. God is bringing breakthrough right now right now just this road lord in the name of jesus let those families let the angel of the lord there are angels walking through this crowd right now right now right now in the name that is above all names angels of the lord walking to families performing specific miracles specific miracles specific miracles Specific miracles. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. 
Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Hallelujah. I cast that spirit from this lady in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. There are some devils that need to leave this place right now. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now. Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We are going to shout that name Jesus. My goodness. I'm telling you, major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of jesus and at the count of three they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return are you ready now one two three i cause devils now i cause spirits now i cause spirits every wicked spirit out of God's people out of every family now I break spells I break witchcraft I break the power of divination bring them out bring them out I cost that power it's not just them families their families i set fire 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 upon altars i set fire i set fire upon lift your hands again god is visiting families this is not about you all the people here are representing families lift your hands oh the fire of god must fish them out there is no hiding for any spirit Shh. at the count of three you will shout that name at the top of your voice and a sword of the spirit will go to your family there must be deliverance tonight are you ready now one two three Jesus! <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, 
they are representing their families God is stepping into families those doors must be open I see ancient gates in the spirit ancient gates and I'm about to command them to open listen when I command those gates to open those affected you will feel it physically these are the gates that cause limitations over people and families but in the name that is above all names I come tonight under this apostolic and prophetic anointing I command you be open. I command you be open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands that is tied down by any kind of limitation. I don't care what it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else in this place, this is the mount of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be 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 open now. By the force of the spirit, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. Self time in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout it, shout it. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. I declare that every force stopping the advancement of my family by the fire of the Holy Ghost live now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every power you must be in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Pick up your Bibles, Daniel chapter 10. The devil is in trouble tonight. Zenteka parakata pikata sitanda seke poko to poko to pakata pakata sitanda Daniel chapter 10 You have come for koinonia is an experience is a mountain something must change about your life Kabrando gozo protoko shupalata pai Daniel chapter 10 verse 10 and behold an hand touched me and set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands and he said unto me O Daniel a man greatly beloved 
Understand the words that I speak unto thee and stand upright. For unto thee I am now sent. And when he had spoken this word to me, I stood trembling. Verse 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not. Daniel had been fasting and praying. He said, For from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come to thee for thy words. Verse 13. But the prince, listen, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. And lo, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me. And I remained there with the kings of Persia. Listen, the Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Then it says, against principalities against powers then against rulers then against spiritual wickedness they do not operate in the earth realm the bible says they operate in the heavenlies this prince of persia was the territorial spirit across the land of persia so when gabriel was bringing the answer the solution that prince stopped him. I have been put in charge of this territory to make sure that breakthrough does not come to men. To make sure that men are not lifted. But there was a man in the earth realm who kept praying. And while he prayed, it was on the strength of his authorization. The, from the arsenals of heaven, the archangel Michael had to come because he's the archangel in charge of war. We are going to pray tonight. Every land has territories. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every land has territories. And there are spirits. Those of you who have listened to the message, give me this mountain. There is a spiritual dimension to life. And there are, met, there are certain things that will never manifest in your life until you prevail in prayer. Jacob held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. He said, what is thy name? He said, Jacob. He said, your name will be changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God. And you have prevailed. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't let anybody fool you and tell you what we just read was the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, when you pray, it just comes. It, 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 it makes... Listen. The kingdom of God is a system. The earth realm is a system. Are you getting my point? It is as soon as Zion travails, hallelujah, that she will put forth. There is a birthing. This is the ninth month. If you didn't come to pray tonight, I'm so happy about the rain. Because you won't go anywhere. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray now? We are going to pray. Listen. We are going to confront powers. Zechariah chapter 1, please, quickly. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 then I lifted up my eyes and I saw and I beheld what? four horns a horn is a symbol of authority next verse and I said unto the angel that talked with me what be these what are these horns and he answered me these are the horns that have scattered judah these are the horns that have scattered jerusalem these are the horns that are making your father to never reconcile with your mother these are the horns that make finances to stop when it's about to come these are the horns hindering the gates of marriage verse 20 and the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then I said, what come this to do? He said, these are the horns that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. These are the horns that have robbed you of your testimony, of your joy. He said, so that no man does what? 
lift up his head. They have put a barrier around your family and your life. And they have said no man will lift up his head. So every time you want to lift up your head, there are horns. They station them. Hear me and take seriously what I'm saying. They have drawn the boundaries. Man takata. Goodness. I tell you, I sense deliverance fire in this place tonight. Oh, those horns must leave. For sure. There are horns stationed across territories to make sure that men do not rise. Some of you, this is a limitation. You are the first person in your family to get to the university. There are horns. But tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to step out and put on our priestly regalia. We are going to confront the heavens. He told Job, he said, hast thou commanded thy morning? Did you speak into the heavenly territories? Did you command the things to align themselves? We are praying tonight. The Bible says the stars fought for Deborah. She was a warrior and the constellations arranged themselves to make sure that enchantments could not go to the heavens. Lift your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on now, you have to be more serious than this. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. All right. That every power. Across my territory. That wants to stop me. And stop my family. From rising, up, from rising up I challenge you tonight, challenge you tonight by, the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray <laughs> In the name of the Lord Jesus. We Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we are praying tonight. Jude 1. Jude 1, verse 9. You will see tonight that Satan is interested in this body that you wear. Jude 1. Everyone read. Want to read. Hold on. Do you see Michael again? Michael in Daniel contending against powers. He shows up again in the book of Jude. Read on. Want to read. Hold on. He disputed about the what? Spirit, soul, 
body. Satan wanted the body of a man. Satan wants the bodies of men. Not just their spirits. Because without a body, without a body, demonic activities cannot be carried out. The church is called the body that the Holy Ghost uses. It's called the body of Christ. The body that the Holy Ghost wears. There is a law in this realm. That any spirit that does not have a body cannot function in this realm. So Satan wants the body of Moses. If he looked for the body of Moses, Moses in the Old Testament, how much more your own body? So he will afflict you. He wants your body. So he will manipulate your body and all kinds of objects moving around. But the Bible says, Know ye not that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Know ye not. Listen. We are going to pray. I'm establishing a prayer point. Jesus entered the temple, which was his body, and he found out that there were strangers in that temple. Are you getting my point now? Those who should be in the temple were not there. And he found people doing business in the temple. There were transactions going on in his body. That's the same way Satan carries out all kinds of transactions in human bodies. And you hear people complaining. Objects are moving in my body. You see people sleep in the night. And all kinds of devilish things come to oppress them. Tonight we are going to pray. Are you getting my point? Please if you are sitting except you are under the anointing stand up. And let's take some time to pray. You must get angry tonight and let's pray. Because something must break. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare that, my that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My body, my body belongs to Jesus. Therefore, every strange spirit attempting to hold on to my body, I command you right now, depart from my body now. Lift your voice and pray. Every stranger Every stranger this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Everywhere the gospel was preached, Jesus demonstrated that he was not only interested in the spirits of men, but their bodies. What healing does to your body is what salvation does to your spirit man. Hallelujah. We are going to cause the root of sickness. I want you to get ready because the devil is in trouble. There's fire burning in this place this night. No matter how mad a man is, 
he does not enter fire by mistake in the name of madness are you getting what i'm saying no matter how stupid a man is in his insanity he knows fire when he sees it the bible says he maketh his ministers winds are you getting my point and his messengers flames flames of fire every stranger in your body is about to leave i don't care what it is called sickness is that let me tell you how you know that these things are demonic because many of us when you pray on it it will go and then later on it will return right? you're a lady they pray for you and then for one or two or three months you find out that your period just comes normally no pain no nothing and then in the fourth month it backfires again there are people recurrent headache all kinds of devils a growth comes and then it goes you pray and try to treat it it goes we are going to set it on fire right now are you hearing what i'm saying the bible says know ye not that your body i showed you from the book of jude satan was fighting with michael over the body of moses hallelujah this body is your legal access for living and functioning in this realm if it is battered beyond repair your spirit will no longer be able to stay there and it will have to leave so if satan cannot get to manipulate your mind he will batter your body in a way that your spirit cannot live and it will have to go we are going to pray many of us as you are praying right now you will be surprised huh? now is the time to pray all those hold on please one minute genotype huh? I've read my bible from Genesis please listen this is very serious what I'm sharing there's no mention of any nonsense of genotype in this bible have you read your Bible? There are many ladies right now, many guys, they cannot even get married. They can't think of anything because the devil put one rubbish embargo called genotype. S, S, A, S, and all of those rubbish. Now you want to get married or you want to settle down, they tell you no, health wise. Every parent is carrying their child and running away. The devil is in trouble tonight. We are going to pray. If he was not here, he should not be in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying. Whatever has affected this body has affected God's property. And we're going to pray and invoke his presence that he will rise in his jealousy and attack any stranger. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you, as you pray, growth will disappear see the trouble is that many of us have been praying but we we of course i know not here but generally we we do not know the power of the corporate anointing psalm 133 talks of god depositing the blessing where people are gathered together in unity that's different from your personal prayer life are you getting my point now we are going to pray there are traits of infirmities around your family. There are traits of infirmity in your life. There are many of us, all sorts of embarrassing conditions, skin problems, to the minutest, to anything. Hear me! No matter how small it is, it is according to your faith tonight. Are you getting what I'm saying? He said, whatever my father has not planted, whatever he has not planted, he must be uprooted. Don't sit down and tolerate it. What you tolerate in your body, the devil will use it to destroy you. But when you resist the devil, the Bible says he will flee. Lift up your voice. We are going to pray again. Say after me, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness, every infirmity, every abnormality in my body hear the word of the Lord I command you to leave this body now I command you to leave this body now 
Lift your voice and begin to pray. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. Joel chapter 2. Let's start from verse 23. Joel 2, verse 23. Want to read? Verse 24. Verse 25. Shout it with all your heart. Shout it. Listen, listen, listen. We are still praying. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God. I place demand. For restoration. In my life. In my family. Hallelujah. We are going to pray that prayer again. You know the areas you want restoration. Please we are not playing games tonight. The presence of God is here. Hallelujah. When we get to that party, we'll mention it. And we're going to pray. The Bible says, I will. It didn't say, I will send someone. I will supervise your restoration. Hallelujah. The years. We're going to say, Lord, turn the hands of time again. Turn the hands of time. Let that which the devil has stolen be restored. There are things that need to be restored tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive, receive sevenfold restoration, restoration of everything the devil has stolen in my life. Now mention them. Your health, whatever it is. Lift your voice and pray. Restoration, 
Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him thanks. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because our eyes will see the desires of our hearts and our hands will handle it. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please sit down. Just give me 10, 15 minutes and we're out of here. If this is all we have done tonight. It is worth it. There's no place for you to sit, stand, sit on the floor, sit anywhere. Go ahead. The service is already on, so. Please, there should be no vacant seat. There are still people standing. The person is under the anointing. Let the person lie down on the floor and let someone use the seat. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what the word of God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what God has said. It's not even knowing that there is a kingdom principle. That's not revelation. Revelation is knowing how to make that principle work in your life. If it cannot work in your life, then it's useless. Hallelujah. See, we keep sharpening ourselves like this, like arrows in the presence of God. We're sharpening ourselves. Because we're trusting God to attain a statue in the spirit. Where no power in existence can stop your fulfilling God's destiny for your life. You believe that? There is a generation that is depending upon our faithfulness. The Bible says, he that sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. And he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal. We are making investments in the spirit. We are laboring, we are traveling. You won't be surprised when you see your life and your prophetic destiny tomorrow because you will know that yes it is god's grace but paul said it this way i am what i am by the grace of god right but he said this grace was not showered upon me in that i labored more than ye all there is grace that manifests as the favor of god and there is grace that manifests as supernatural empowerment to do Hallelujah. The Lord is changing your life. I'm telling you. Gradually. The Bible says line upon line. Precept upon precept. Your value system. Your life. The quality of your Christian experience. It's changing. And then like the 71 day. He will trust you with responsibilities. He will send you. And you will be shocked. To see. That he has built you to be his finest 
the finest of the finest of the best don't trivialize what god is doing in your life brothers and sisters week after week you're submitting yourself to the dealings of the spirit and it will translate into something in your life you may not look like it now see that there is no athlete who wants to look good when you are rehearsing have you seen an athlete like that you are conscious of your shoe let it not have more no 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 when when you are training you will see footballers get dirty and all of that but when they lift that trophy huh they can now dress and enjoy the celebration my bible tells me that no man that warreth will entangle himself with civilian affairs these trainings will prune you it will it will it will build you listen to me it will challenge you it will stretch you it will provoke you but when you submit to the dealings of the spirit the end of it is peace something will happen in your life that money cannot buy something will happen in your life that is not common you will now know that it is not common to be yielded to the spirit it's not a gift not everybody is interested there are many people who are born again but very few people are interested in the things of the spirit so god is teaching us we spend time now to pray and travel in the spirit you cannot imagine the levels of victory and so you would just step home and you see that doors begin to open and some of you your loved ones will not know they will just say aha uh -huh, things are working well now things don't just work they are enforced in the spirit learn this learn this learn this one day it will change is a waste of time time does not change things are you getting me engaging kingdom principles 38 years that man was at the pool of bethesda in less than five minutes he got up he would have remained there forever so the word of god that you are receiving you must believe it please hear me you must believe it if you're just sitting down and watching every week and just looking and hoping that this word will make sense one day you may be deceiving yourself the bible says ever learning have you seen people like that they have all of the revelation but never coming to the comprehension of the truth depart from those kinds of people when you come into the presence of god give your heart it says meditate on these things give yourself wholly to them and it gives you an assurance what's the assurance that thy profiting may appear look let me tell you um you see if your life does not bear fruit after a particular time you will be frustrated because it's god that sees the heart men look at the outward appearance are you hearing what i'm saying men do not have the ability to see the heart so your christian experience must translate into a testimony that glorifies the name of the lord are you hearing what i'm saying if it does not your family members will never see the relevance of your commitment to prayer and to the study of the word the disciplines and the constraints of the spirit say my life will bear fruit say it my life will bear fruit brothers and sisters if you go to your house and there is a sick person and you have a revelation and you pray for that sick person stand up my brother and you pray for that sick person and the sick person stands up do you know that that is a sermon that is more than one year of beckoning up? You don't need to invite people and say, come for God. No, 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 no. The woman, at the, Samar the Samaritan woman said, come and see a man that has told me everything I've done. What is the result in your life that compels people to want to know about God? If your life continues to remain a barren wilderness, there is no reason why people should be attracted to your God. There was something that Ruth saw and she told Naomi. He said, my, your God will be my God. Hallelujah. 
it's not just for you to come and watch a man of God doing great things. No, it's to provoke your spirit and you go back with that anointing. You're not falling down for nothing. Say, I'm anointed. Say it. And some of you are even laughing at yourself. Say it. It has nothing to do with fivefold ministry. It has everything to do with being alive. Hallelujah. And you step into your house, you step into your place of work, and you step in as an ambassador, as an envoy. Don't let people mock your MOG. MOG for nothing. MOG, MOG. They keep calling you. When there's trouble, they pass you. Your MOG as a nickname. No. MOG, you say yes, and they pass you, and, and you are not contributing anything to the kingdom. Elisha said, Hi, I love that guy. He said, let Naaman come and know that there is a prophet in Israel. Hallelujah. That there is a prophet in Israel. Can the devil look at your family and say, ah, if, if only I can shift Zuera out of the way and like a big hen, you stay there and say you are invited. I have become a shield. He said, as for me and my house, for many of us, it's as for me and myself. It must translate beyond you. Are you getting my point? You shield others. You are minding your business and you see the devil trying to oppress somebody. You say, Satan is my business. It's my business. Whether you invite me or not, it is my business. You must let this person go. Hallelujah. Listen, it's not enough for you. Don't get used to seeing miracles, healings, deliverances. You know, in Koinonia, we are so used to miracles. When it happens, you just watch one of those things that's happened again. You see, it's a lesson. It's a handwriting upon your life. Are you hearing me? That God is challenging you and telling you that your life ought to be supernatural in every way not just by making noise and disturbing people when they are sleeping praying in tongues no it must translate he said let your light so shine before who before yourself before men you already know you have the light but they do not know he said let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and as a result praise your father in heaven when was the last time someone spoke to you about his situation and he said that's all right that's all right. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you picked up your phone. You said, let's pray. Many of us, it's just, hey, yeah. See, I just returned from Koinonia. It was powerful this night. Ah! You missed. And Ben said, I'm, I'm having a little stomach ache. Said, oh, it's like that. Let's, let's just lie down. It's too late. The chemist is closed. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. You need to get angry one day. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As soon as you get home, you hear your sister saying, finally my name came out they are about to to downsize me and 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 do all of that and he said talk i'm sure that god knows how he will work things out look at what you are saying you are the ambassador you are the voice of god in that room you must die one of the things i've learned listen to me one of the things i've learned about working in the anointing is that you must die to your ego hello are you hearing what i'm saying Many of us are so conscious. What if I, I tell the people God will bless you and God doesn't bless them. Tomorrow they will now see me and say, Pastor, that prayer, you know people are so funny. Pastor, you prayed and the prayer didn't work. Oh. And you feel stupid, you feel embarrassed. If I do well, God should take the glory. If nothing happens, who should take the shame? Uh, answer me who should take the shame so if you are taking the shame you have been hallelujah go and pray for the sick person pray let the person die in your hands no problem just pray you now go and find out what is wrong with you and then the person says there's, there's one wound if I open you say ah you wouldn't have even told me. Look, just quietly go to the hospital. Oh. 
challenge your faith. Hallelujah. Don't say me, I'm not a man of God's wife. I want peace. I don't want to trouble Satan. Let him know. Take away, you see, I believe that our mindsets are changing. That mindset of, I don't trouble you, Satan. Don't trouble me too. Let's all mind our business. It does not work in this earth realm. Are you getting what I'm saying? It does not work in the earth realm. There are many of us, I would not be surprised that there are some of us who sit down like that. You believe that because you are not active in the things of the kingdom, when the devil comes, you will jump you and go and look for those who are really causing him trouble. And he said, the devil passed, please pass. I don't have anything. I didn't look for any trouble. It doesn't work that way. Satan does not disturb you because you have become a slave to him. Right? But you must, you must tear down the assaults of the devil over the lives of people. Say one more time, I'm anointed. Say it, I'm anointed. The Holy Ghost just took over this meeting. Let's just flow with the way he's. I'm anointed. Look at your hands. Everyone look at your hands. I know you have been insulting it. That it doesn't look nice. Forget about all those ones. Look at your hand. Whatever you have there is your hand. Whether it's rough or smooth, it's irrelevant. Just look at your hand. I'm talking about the spiritual, the spiritual content. I like you to say, my hands represent the hands of Jesus. They carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. They can produce results and work wonders. Do you believe that? This is, God bless you, this is my mentality. This is my mentality. My hands are not just for eating. No. It's, there, is, there is something upon my hands. Jesus has placed his hands upon my own hands. Many of us, we keep falling down and rising, but we are not blessing anybody. I want to ask you a few questions. Just a few minutes and then we'll round up. Listen. How many of us believe we are anointed? We just said we are all anointed. The question I have for you tonight is, who has your anointing brought to the kingdom? Has your anointing been able to save anybody? I once was lost. Huh? Come brother. That this brother was lost and on the strength of the anointing that you have, whether it was to save him, to get him healed, he has now come into the saving knowledge of the kingdom. If your anointing, listen, I will tell you why many people do not see more of the anointing in their life. They want anointing. And the first question is for what? What do you want it for? So you'll be speaking and people will fall down. If that is your definition of the anointing, if that is your scope, you know, especially the youth, we like power. And, and there's nothing wrong with it. You like the fact that you just sit down and say, I'm speaking. Some of you, while I was talking and things were happening, you were, it was as if you were pouring cold water in your body. Calm down. The Lord is speaking to you right now. Calm down. If there is no passion in your heart to see his kingdom come, I am telling you now, you do not need the anointing. And you shall receive dunamis. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Please project it for us. And you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And that power is to an end. It says, and you shall be what? Witnesses. Witnesses. Who is a witness? Who is a witness? If Tosin slaps this gentleman and I saw it, what do you call me? A witness if we go to the court i said tosin really sla i saw it so i'm a witness the holy ghost makes you a witness you were not there when jesus died are you are you getting what i'm saying you were not there when jesus died were you there you were not there on the cross but now you are standing to represent a message that you were not there physically so the Holy Ghost says, at least I was, I, was, I was there. I was not in Jesus on the cross, but I was around. I saw everything. Let me partner with you. You do the talking, and then I will prove that you are not a liar. Are you getting what I'm saying? So you tell the sick that Jesus has healed you. 
all of this rubbish sickness is over and the holy ghost says yes i was there on the cross by his stripes this guy has been healed and you stretch forth your hands and the holy ghost validates that your claims are true everyone say i'm a witness but the, the challenge is that many of us are not witnesses indeed you have roommates you have people in your workplace and there's no transformation no transformation the lord is speaking to us tonight hallelujah i may not have time to talk so much about it but i i, I really wanted to talk extensively on soul winning tonight when god just took over we give him praise hallelujah we give him praise because at least he visited people and he blessed people but the question i have for us is that who is coming to the saving knowledge of jesus christ because of the investment of the spirit upon your life there are many of us who are the only ones who are born again in our family there are many of us you leave people just in and you get up and carry your bible and come for koinonia and you are happy again and again we've had people here especially students when they're in their final year some of them get to find out about koinonia it's not like they do not know but for many people the god of this world has blinded their minds they don't care are you getting my point point? and some of us just sit down we just watch and the devil keeps destroying these lives and then at a point where they have two or three weeks to get out of zaria then they come and you see them crying and wondering and getting angry with you and you say sorry it's okay now and then you don't do anything about it again the lord is speaking to us do you know why many ministries let me be sincere with you do you know why many ministries are small small in terms of membership and small in terms of impact look at every ministry that there is a rich investment of the ministry of the holy spirit they are committed to turning many into righteousness right and transforming lives why should i want the holy ghost in my life why should i want his anointing when i'm not interested in praying for the sick right when i'm not interested in 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 seeing people set free you see the church has reduced anointing to money hello hello and many of us are already becoming victims of this theology our concept of anointing is just power to prosper so i have the anointing meaning i have the anointing to prosper financially so you buy the car you buy the clothes you build the house you do everything and you say i'm anointed if you have ever doubt my anointing look at the fruits of my anointing car house will car go to heaven answer me will house go to heaven listen listen brothers and sisters we must begin to live having the passions of god in our heart there are many of us here we used to be committed to genuine evangelism genuine evangelism and we are allowing this this demonic wave of complacency in the church to just come around there are many churches i say this with all apology and due respect they cannot even remember the last time they made an altar call and they don't care correct they don't care to an extent that we can preach and look at many evangelical meetings and crusades right now on the crusade ground is money they are raising and doing miracles as great as that is the end of all of these things is to see a soul not just saved in terms of the religiosity saved but lives transformed every society is a reflection of the quality of the mindsets that are there this is why we are passionate and committed we do everything that we do week in week out to make sure that souls are saved and lives are transformed you will notice that i've almost not missed any koinonia meeting no matter where i am no matter where i am i try to make sure that friday i am back you know why because this 
work is my primary assignment any external ministration is just an extension of the apostolic impact are you getting what i'm saying now but this is the core and some of you are pastors let me talk to you or some of you are men of god you have your church you are in a year you will only preach once or twice and members are just sitting down and being confused under different kinds of messages and theologies everybody coming with his i believe in the corporate impute of the body but the man the one that god has put as a shepherd you must stay and build the people you are constructing an ideology and it must be sustained so that the people are built in that ideology so that they won't be tossed through and fro by every junk and every wind of doctrine there are some things when some of you hear now you won't even pray about it is that true on account of what you have known the word of god comes to build you but when it builds you it creates a sense of responsibility you can't just be falling for nothing and then you stand up and you just clean your body and when you are going you say guy i fell today again oh. i've been falling the last three weeks this person said me too oh. this thing i don't know how it works that's not the goal it's not a thing to just it's, it's it's for you how many of you here have have sat down to say look bring five thousand bring five thousand let's make a very serious tract tract that is well edited and and has the kingdom not religion say i don't have a ministry you don't need a ministry you need passion you see that's the mindset we all have huh we believe that for impact to ever happen you must have a ministry so three friends come together they bring the five five thousand and say come let's settle this in. who is the geo of this group who is the real geo if they sow a seed now who does it go to that is to be carnally minded the bible says is dead that's that's really what carnality is that you are already that see judas was not a bad person judas was a carnal person he looked at jesus and he had a business idea the name of his business idea was jesus how he can use jesus christ and make money that was all that was why he didn't even use the money he thought that when they come to catch jesus christ he would do his majestic thing again when he found out that that thing had backfired he died he killed himself how many of us here we are on facebook some of us some of us are on twitter some of us are and we well not 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 many i say this for the sake of those who will be listening to the message there are many of us it's just rubbish if you are happy today everybody will know on facebook that you are happy joyful the sun is shining tomorrow if you are angry this world what a dark place your whole your whole emotional life on display idleness we don't live with the consciousness of the kingdom as you are laughing please take seriously what i'm saying hallelujah yet we want to see the glory of god in our lives what is wrong with using your posts and say lord i may not be a man of god i may not have the power to heal the sick now but i commit myself is that true to making sure that every week one soul is saved i must come for koinonia with somebody sister how has your beautiful face translated into soul winning in the kingdom let me talk to ladies your beauty is either bringing people into the kingdom or taking people out of the kingdom is that true there's nothing as neutral so the brother sees you and says sister you are very fine say so we give glory to the, the name of the lord i'm inviting you let me use this opportunity and invite you if you are afraid of talking to the person about jesus christ some of us once they just say you are beautiful you just say ah let me not bring jesus into it as if jesus is putting sugar inside food you know it's as if let me let me savor this moment now it doesn't come every day let me enjoy it jesus stay away let me not bring any religiosity and then the lord watches you from the throne and says you pray you want a ministry you want a ministry where you are everywhere you want an international ministry and god sees your heart and he knows that there are some levels of the anointing if we give this person you are going to be a disaster to the kingdom and he measured a thousand cubits 
that man was there until he proved that he was faithful then another thousand cubits was measured there are some of us even if you fast for 100 days i am telling you more anointing will not come until you step up your passion and your and your reckless abandon for the things of the kingdom we're afraid of being looked at as being fanatical right so many of us i'm not a man of god please please i can i can so see it you know there's this theology people teach there are those who give there are those who preach many people say i'm in the category of the givers no everybody's in all three categories you must give you must pray you must preach hallelujah don't just say me i'm a giver and then because the man of god really needs money desperately he say you are doing the same thing with me you who is giving me and preaching is all the same thing it's true that it's the same thing but if it's the same thing it means you can switch it's still the same thing preach to who has changed because of you how many of us does your presence judge sin and iniquity listen to what i'm saying does your presence i'm not talking of condemnation right i'm not talking of condemning people and just writing people off that's 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 something else that's a theology that came from hell but does your presence judge sin and iniquity truly that someone wants to do something bad and your presence is an inconvenience to the person for some of us your presence is a is a catalyst Bless your head thank god you have even come sir and then let me not even let me not just bypass this how many of us have truly made up our minds to part with iniquity listen listen please do not ever think that there is a way of negotiating your way into intimacy with god if you really want authentic power iniquity must be far from you when I talk of iniquity, you, you know what I'm talking about. It must be far. Don't say it does not matter. Don't say it does not matter. I'm repeating it. You must hear me. Don't say it does not matter. You will never walk in authentic power. That's why a lot of people cast out demons. The demons cast them too. Because they know that Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. We joke around with the issue of sin and iniquity in the body of Christ. And then we believe that because God is gracious, right? Iniquity is what will give Satan access to your life, your state of heart. Iniquity is not just sleeping around or drinking and smoking. They are fruits of that iniquity. Iniquity is a state of heart that is perpetually rebellious towards God and the laws of the kingdom the psalmist said if I cherished iniquity in my heart the Lord would not have heard me who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord he said he that has clean hands and a pure heart when there are still Christians giving bribe and taking bribe you will never see the hand of the Lord don't say it does not matter you want job somebody saying bring 250,000 and you are happy say it's like that it's nigeria please don't bring any church thing here bring it oh bring it because you are the don't try to dichotomize your life and say this is my social life this is my spiritual life what is the meaning of that nonsense in one of the revelations the four living creatures were in one body huh four dimensions functioning in one body We must be far from iniquity it has been the ancient key to the presence and the power of god and by the grace of god almighty we will not water it down in koinonia we will preach the full gospel i will tell you the truth the secrets that bring the glory and the presence of god there are many of us we watch all kinds of nonsense we think it does not matter look at look at the way your mind is huh? 
You can't look at a beautiful lady and just go free. As soon as they are sharing the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, you feel like starting another service for yourself because you have, you have polluted your mind watching all kinds of nonsense. It's a culture. It's a sacrifice. Am I blessing you tonight? Oh yes, it's a sacrifice. There are many of us ladies, anybody, you can even be walking on the road, somebody will just park and say, enter. You say, really? Let me enter first and find. What sort of, don't you live by values? Everybody say values. Say it, shout it, values. As a kingdom citizen, never forget this. We live by values. You may see us jump around, but let me tell you, the love of God constrains us. Hallelujah. Sister, let people be able to look at your life and say, how can a beautiful lady like this not be loose? And he said, no, I may be beautiful, but I have so, I'm, I've given myself like a love slave to God. That I'm beautiful. You know, many brothers see our beautiful ladies. You know Koinonia has pretty ladies, right? Brothers, say amen. amen. They are your wives too, so say amen. amen. But listen to me now. The issue here is that before the transition between now and when they become your wives, you must mind yourself and discipline yourself and be a genuine Christian. Hallelujah. Brothers, let me give you a little secret. If you don't mind yourself with respect to ladies, I'm not talking of sleeping around ladies. Men that are overconscious about ladies never encounter the presence of God powerfully. I'm not talking of sleeping around. You are just thinking. It's, it's, still, it's still the same thing. You are, you are stopping your mind from entering certain dimensions of the secret place. I'm not saying frown at any lady after corner and say, mm, I'm pressing it to God. No, that's not what I'm saying. There are many of us, our own encumbrances is what I call carnality. What you wear. You can be thinking of what to wear for Koinonia from Saturday. Which one will I wear? Let me add, it's, it's good. We believe in excellence, but be careful lest it corrupts your time. We believe in excellence, but let me tell you, it's better to wear bathroom slippers and come and focus and flog it out with destiny and change your life. Who cares whether you wear your Versace or Gucci, thank God, but demons can bypass that Versace and oppress your life. And that's what we are trying to tackle in this place. Are you getting what I'm saying? When you take care of your spiritual life, then you can beautify your body. On the other hand, let me balance it. On the other hand, there are some of us that are careless about our our bodies we, we do not know that is still part of spirituality right what you wore yesterday you just look at it smell it not very smelly you just carry it and you're on your way to koinonia no. be intentional about your coming here don't make it look like it's a mistake be intentional plan these are all aspects of the kingdom let everything about your life neatness neatness thoroughness some of us are very dirty the way you are sitting down looking at me like this your rooms there are still plates that all these things are i'm just showing you how that your life must draw people it will either draw people towards god or away from him and don't you say it does not matter the bible says add to your faith virtue the word virtue there is moral excellence Say, I'm changing. Especially if you really are. Say it, I'm changing. Because some of you, as God is speaking to you, go back to your rooms and wash that plate this night. Wash it this night. Hallelujah. If, come, sweetheart. If I'm going to get married to this lady, I'm taking my revelation of God together with all the unrenewed liabilities that I have I'm coming to say bring your own and, and let's, let's, let's wed in holy matrimony the question is are you going to be a blessing to your partner or the person will look at you and say had I known what deceived me what didn't I see huh? say I'm a blessing 
the bible says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed bless you for that. you must be a soul winner from today whatever you will do to bring souls to the kingdom i say whatever in the positive way right don't go and do all kinds of babylonian things and say whatever let souls be one no in the kingdom the means is as important as the end i've taught you right because if if you say i am doing this and that so that souls will come i i allowed the man to go for weekend with me because i'm trying to win him between now and the next one month he must be born again no no that's not that's not the kind of born again we're talking about praise the lord say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus i become serious with my spiritual life in the name of jesus i lay aside every weight and everything that corrupts my christian testimony two more things i'll talk about and then we'll pray and we'll be done hallelujah i want to talk about two things i have seen across that stops many souls from coming to the kingdom number one is anger among believers write it i don't know where this impartation of the spirit of anger flew and came from there are many of your anger is not demons the demons left since february miracle service but the anger is still there anger rage it is an aspect of your christian life you must blot out you must blot out please write it anger you can be as calm as a dove but when you get angry you can give it to anybody there are some sisters right here in this place you would have been married since if only you address this issue if you like go to prophet apostle pastor teacher you must change that thing. there are some brothers here you don't have friends say i don't care i'm in a world all by myself you have beat everybody close to you because of anger your younger ones run away from you there's nothing about your life that is pleasing because of anger there are many pastors today the anger and the rage they have they can finish preaching even on stage they can almost slap the other person i said sing ten or what, what are you singing and you are wondering and then the guy turns and says, let's pray and he's looking i say yes, i don't <laughs> Number two, immorality. Immorality. Let's bury this thing this night. Look at me. Look at me. Do not let anyone, please, 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 koinonia. My conscience must be clear before God and I must tell you. Do not let anyone convince you, convince you, that a life of immorality you can be able to patch your christian experience and patch immorality i'm saying it now you must hear me in jesus name i'm i'm telling you this from the depths of my heart there are many of you as i'm talking even the holy spirit is saying thank you jesus finally i'm getting to i'm not condemning you <laughs> I tell you the number of believers sir the number of believers that are compromising on their christian integrity especially over the issue of immorality this is probably one of the biggest reasons why many souls do not come to the kingdom if you are involved in all those things i love you but you must stop this night in jesus name say amen whether it be, you are part of it or not say amen immorality is not just sleeping around hold on so that you don't just say thank god me i don't sleep around even god knows hold on pornography pornography right now we have our blackberries it's amazing you check christian phones and see the kinds of things there i'll talk about it pornography all kinds of other devilish things and don't just blame the devil 
the day your roommate sees you and says, ah, what is this with naked? They say, it's Satan. I'm, I'm even waiting for the end of the month. No, don't mock God. Don't mock God. Don't make it look like you come for miracle service and say, Lord, I'm open. And then you receive that one. There are many of us, we are great men and women of God, but this is the setback in our lives. Right? Look, listen to me. This is, this is Bethel, the place of bread. Huh? What I'm doing to you now is like a, jo a doctor giving a patient injection. You feel the pain, but that chloroquine must enter so that you will be healed. Immorality. Sisters, let me talk to you. You must create rules in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you have not been doing it, create rules. If you are in a relationship, talk about it. You are in a relationship with, with a lady. Part of the reasons why you are in a relationship with her is because you are physically attracted to her. Sit down and be saying, I'm a man of God and you'll be very surprised. Warn yourself. Tell yourself, myself, behave. Receive grace from God. Create boundaries. Huh? I, I will tell you this. Don't think, oh, this is the Lord. Mm -hmm. Man, if this law is going to keep you focused and useful, so be it. So be it. Hallelujah. There are many of us. Study yourself, sister. You know you are very vulnerable. Huh? Don't go as and say, I know he's just a pastor. It's been long since I washed his plate. Was the plate not washed? Was it not washed? Thank God for your generosity, but you must be careful. Anything you cannot do in the open is questionable. Are you getting what I'm saying? And many of us who are pastors here, you are the, we are the ones that are subject to the greatest attack. Hear me. Hear me. Man of God, you accepted the call and you are careless with your life. You will be very surprised. If there is the call of God upon your life, guard your anointing. You see the way men embarrass themselves. You can fake healing. Deliverance is what will really show you whether you are all of that. You'll be casting at the demons. The demons are just laughing and saying all kinds of things. It should never be so. We are going to pray because I know that there are people affected in these areas. Are you getting my point? And trust me, if you think you need help, please see me for counseling. I am more than more than willing to help you we are a family don't say i'm a man of god i'm struggling with masturbation or struggling with immorality and i think is 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 an issue there's nothing to be ashamed of are you hearing what i'm saying there is nothing to be ashamed of i believe i believe lord i believe lord i Five years of ulcer, you'll be healed, right? And discharging. Hey, don't worry. God will set you free. That devil is a liar in the name of Jesus.
You are free in the name of Jesus. Release her. Release her body. Release 
miracles everywhere miracles everywhere and miracles everywhere and right now and right now miracles everywhere and miracles everywhere miracles everywhere and right now Miracles everywhere. We see miracles. I see miracles. And right now, right now, I see miracles. I see miracles. I see miracles. Miracles. touching the people here there is something the atmosphere is doing let's just finish the prayer for this
your word for me
talents are the wicked Devil of darkness. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a lion in the spirit. This guy has a wild spirit. When he's angry, he can kill. And it's not his fault. This is, this is an ancestral thing. See how many people trying to hold one person. This is how it will tie his destiny. This is how he will get married to a very innocent lady and be manifesting things that he doesn't know. I set you free right now. This is a place of liberty. Leave him. Leave him. He's free. Onye di kadi ekele di rigi onye ne mema onye di kadi ekele di rigi onye na waria onye di kadi ekele di rigi onye ne mema onye di kadi ekele di rigi onye na waria. Setting families free right now from marital delay. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. All those affected, as you count three, the fire of God will sweep across this place. There are marital destinies that have been tied down. Some of you, you are standing, but you are representing your family. In the name that is above all names. Right now, anyone tied under any manifestation, spirit, husband, spirit, wife, every manifestation of darkness, as you shout the name Jesus right now, I command those doors to be open. One, two, three. Free. I set you free now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Be free. I open up doors of marriages inside and outside. Be free. Be free. Every spell, every curse stopping your marital destiny. Mommy, please, can I talk to you? Your time of visitation has come because the Lord is saying He's going to wipe your tears and He's going to do this speedily. It's by the hand of the Lord. Please, where is your husband, man? Do you know why I'm asking you this? Because your situation is like in a similitude of that of Sarah, but God is going to wipe your tears. Please believe me. When I pray for you, I'm praying for marital delays. And then I'm looking at you, and the Lord is saying that this woman does not even have a husband. At the point I even say, Ah, what is this? Is that true? And I'm asking myself, but I'll pray for you. You, you trust God to settle down? I'll pray for you. Yes, it will happen. It will happen. Anyone here due for marriage, listen. Anyone here, be it yourself or any member of your family that is long overdue for marriage, right now I prophesy in the name that is above all names. Let those doors be opened now. May those doors be open now. Something is happening in this place. May those doors be open now. May those doors be open now. Madam, you will stand before the people of God when your wedding card is out. If there is a God in heaven, I break that curse right now. Now, and I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the Lord God Almighty. He's the Lord God Almighty. The earth is full of His glory. My life is full of Your glory. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Hallelujah. All of you lift your hands. God is going to do something amazing here right now. Listen. Everyone is standing for himself now. Not for family. Please lift your hands. Listen. I'm seeing powers that have tied down the advancement of people. Listen to me. Because the Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing someone standing with a sword and this is a sword of judgment this one is not for families again there are many of us you are walking but you are standing because nothing is moving right now in the name of Jesus 
many of you will literally feel the fire of God come upon you like a baptism is burning chaffs burning chains some of you your academics are the way they are right now because of powers Neke paratika. come on now. father in the name of Jesus right now chains be broken be broken be broken chains be broken baptisms are happening baptisms of fire personal deliverances of fire 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 the fire of the holy ghost it's time for you to move forward fresh fire to move forward fresh fire no stagnation fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire hallelujah hallelujah we are still going to do this again listen i'm telling you this is the root problem of many of the our predicaments there are there are forces please follow me this is the part you get to participate lift your hands again lord what is it that has tied your people down they have prayed for others they have ministered to others but right now like a volcano let the fire of god sweep across this place right now let it burn the roots let it burn the roots set the roots on fire set the roots on fire let your people make progress hallelujah lift your hands let's enter the realm of your academics now there are horns tied people's cgpa tied people's minds but he said i have sent carpenters lift your hands it's not everyone that is dull there are people who are studying you are doing your best right now all of those ones your hands fire is coming on your hands just your hands there will be a mighty deliverance right now one two three fire on your hands on your hands fire academic liberty fire on your hands we break those chains we break those chains we break those chains come on join me as you pray join me as you pray academic chains be broken Hallelujah. There are some of us, listen, God is setting people free tonight. One circle of tragedy as soon as he's finishing another one is starting it it never comes to a point where your family can experience peace the bible says and he dug a well and they came and closed it he dug another one and they closed it and he dug the third one and they left it and they said reho both the lord has given me room i'm praying right now please pay attention to what i'm doing this is the root cause believe me you will be wasting your time for nothing if you don't confront these powers you can receive temporary breakthrough but you will get back into the same situation hallelujah in fact 
we are going to pray just for one minute hallelujah you are going to pray i like you to pray like a priest in the next one to two minutes listen i like you to tell the lord that whatever is the root cause you are not concerned about the fruits and the leaves it may be headache leave that one lord what is the root cause of my stagnation what is the root cause of my family's problem in the name of jesus let it be confronted tonight lift your voice and pray we attack the root causes of sicknesses the root causes pray pray for your business pray for your ministry pray for your academics Visit me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. But there are many of us here. The troubles in our lives are as a result of the mistakes and the wickedness for some of us of our parents and loved ones. He said, who's seen that this man is in this situation? Is it him or his father? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please lift your hands. God is setting men free tonight. Anyone here going through circles of tragedy as a result of covenant and parental influence, as you shout the name Jesus after the count of three, may the fire of God separate you from the mistakes of your lineage. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Be separated, be separated, be separated now, be separated. I break limitations. Ancestral spirits, tribal spirits, territorial spirits. Right now, be free. Every name that is in any demonic cover. We set it on fire now. We set it on fire now. Jesus died to set us free. Jesus truly died to set us free. It wasn't a joke. He said, but we do not see all things under his feet. Lift your hands again. Your hands again say after me in the name of Jesus shout it in the name of Jesus I am ready to make progress I'm ready to move forward I'm ready to break barriers and tonight by the blood of Jesus I confront and challenge the root causes of my limitation lift your voice and begin to pray we challenge it we challenge powers that have limited men there must be a release tonight Jacob wrestled with God Pray, pray, pray. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to break limits. Break limits.
I tell you, God is there are there are massive, there is an emancipation. Lift your hands again. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus speaks for me. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the price for my freedom. Listen, keep the hands lifted. Just keep them lifted. All instruments, just stop. Just lift your hands and keep them lifted. There is a reason why I'm saying you should keep them lifted. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is going to walk through the crowd. Listen, just keep them lifted. Something marvelous will happen right now. I'm seeing water that God is pouring on people. Right now, let the power of God move everywhere, inside and outside. This water that I see an angel pouring is a cleansing, is a purging of many people's foundations. Just keep your hands lifted. You may not understand what is going on, but just lift your hands. If you trust that God is in this place, let the angels move right now. Row to row, line to line. Visit men, oh God. Visit men. Visit men. Catelato. Row to row. Water. There are three that bear witness in heaven. The spirit, the water, the blood. I invoke the power of these three spiritual entities right now. The mystery of the spirit, the water, and the blood. I tell you, see, many of you will, will walk into levels of breakthrough that will surprise you. Keep it lifted. Just keep it lifted. Keep it lifted. You don't know what is happening in the spirit. Just keep it lifted. Jesus. Shikaparia. Neketa, mandeporiata. I see covens on fire. I'm telling you, covens of darkness on fire. This is not just your family, this is your life now. You prayed for your family, but you need to move forward. Otherwise, men will think you are faking this thing. a chain is falling from someone's head a chain is falling from someone's head a chain is falling from someone's head i see this in the spirit a chain is falling this is mental bondage a chain is falling i'm hearing sounds of chains Hallelujah. 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 Now, before we submit the prayer request, lift your hands. You are going to mention one thing, just one, that you want God to do, that everyone will know that this one, I prayed it here and God did it. Are you getting my point now? I'm just walking based on the instructions of the Spirit. He wants to give you a sign. Of his presence in your life I know you wrote many things brothers and sisters in the next one minute cry out one thing one just one don't be foolish pray pray I'm ministering by the influence of the Spirit pray no matter how impossible it is pray unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come unto you that answers prayers what things soever 
ye desire when ye pray believe that you have received it believe that you have received it there is nothing hard for my God pray it hallelujah hallelujah everyone let's pray in tongues for one minute as we collect the prayer request please go ahead God is just leading us to pray and he's doing many things in the background please quickly in one minute let's submit the prayer request pass it to the last person pass it to the last person ushers please cooperate with us and let's hurry up Pray. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Keep passing the request, but listen to me. I made a vow to God. I just returned from my retreat. And one of the vows that I made to God is that I don't care what people would think about me. But if I ever have the opportunity to minister to God's people, I'd rather have an ugly message and let people get results. Are you getting what I'm saying? Part of my, my prayer, and I, I took out time to cry. I said, Lord, your people must see your hand. It says, oh Lord, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My heart longs after you to see your power and your glory as i have seen in the sanctuary that means what i have seen in the sanctuary i am also a sanctuary reproduce the result in my life hallelujah so this program is aimed at bringing everyone into a place of personal spiritual success and let me tell you I know that it's not a very nice message I wish that I didn't have to pray to confront spirits and powers that stop people I like to preach a nice message that will just tell you that don't worry if you believe everything is has, has gone it has gone I wish I just wish it were like that but brothers and sisters I can tell you it is not it is not you will believe that lie to your detriment it is not we live in a rude world and there are forces otherwise the anointing of the spirit is useless what then is the purpose of the anointing what then is the efficacy of the blood? Why then does Paul tell us to put on? Hallelujah. I want your life to experience breakthroughs. See, otherwise, we have no right to tell people we are not faking it. Are you getting my point? If there is no breakthrough in your life, then what then is the confidence of the message that people keep saying God is and one I believe that one result can silence a lot of questions I'm not that believer that likes just no there must be an evidence in your life I don't know how many times I saw this when I kept praying the Lord kept talking to me and said the root cause deal with the root cause of people's lives root cause i'm telling you it's not just healing alone that's why you notice i prayed for the sick very quickly hallelujah thank you jesus christ we're going to pray one prayer point before we have all the prayer requests here inside and outside make sure you are participating hallelujah i like you to pray and challenge 
every limitation whether mental whether spiritual anything that limits you is not of god lift up your voice and confront it i break limitations if there are no limitations you will make progress if there are no limitations you will make progress please everyone pray take this seriously even if you are walking be praying as you're walking lord i challenge limitations let there be no limits in my life let there be no limits in my life let there be no boundaries as far as your eyes can see as far as your eyes can see ushers please let's hurry up ushers please let's hurry up Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. I'm going to be laying hands on these requests. Hallelujah. Pair yourselves into two. Find a man or a woman of prayer. We are challenging limitations. That word limitation. Media project it. That word limitation. Write it. That's the word we are attacking this night. Ye have tarried in this mountain for too long. He said, turn ye not words. Hallelujah. Hold on before you pray. While I lay my hands here. Hallelujah. Hold the hands of the person you are going to pray. If there is nobody, you can join and make two or three. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time. Say in the name of Jesus. I come as an ambassador of the kingdom. And I challenge every limitation in every area of my life. I command it to bow down. The Bible says, Naaman, hear me, Second Kings 5. Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a mighty man, but tonight we are going to confront the bots in our lives. You are academically excellent, but there are limitations. I don't know if there are limitations in someone's life that you are saying, Lord, in this miracle service, this is it. Hallelujah. While I pray in the next two to three minutes, instrumentalists play, clash the cymbal, and everyone pray. Hold the hands of your neighbor. If he's joking, leave him and hold another person.
one more time. Hallelujah. Listen. I believe with all my heart that God is confronting limitations. Many of you don't know what limitations are. You, poverty is a limitation. Are you getting my point? Spiritual bankruptcy is a limitation. A prayerless life is a capital limitation. A wordless life is a limitation when you are supposed to get married and you've not gotten married it's a limitation academic backwardness see there are very few people who are here for for sicknesses and all is is limitation that's the name of what you are going through hallelujah before i prophesy we'll soon have the last session and then we're, we're done we are still going to pray. Don't be tired. I beg you, just follow through with me. If you believe that I hear God and if you believe we are walking by the Spirit, I'd like you to pray. Hallelujah. Limitations. I know a brother, listen, listen. I know a brother that for many years, this gentleman was so gifted. But I'm telling you, nothing was working in his life. Please hear me. This is a true story. Very gifted. But things were tied down. Hallelujah. He did everything, did everything that, that he knew to do. But when God made him know that these things are limitations, he took a quality time of his life challenging it. And brothers and sisters when he prevailed doors were open it was as if the blessings have left heaven but to now come to this realm and Daniel remained in prayer please hear me anything that kills your prayer life has stopped you from your breakthrough it's not the issue of I'm called into the ministry of prayer or not forget that nonsense that the devil brings men ought always Luke 18.1, he spake this parable. If you are alive, you don't pray because of fear. You pray because it's a spiritual transaction. It makes things possible in this realm. Hallelujah. We are going to pray one more time. And you're going to say, Lord, one more time. Visit this issue of limitation in my life and my family. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Mention the aspects where you are facing limitation. Don't feel embarrassed. Mention them and say, Lord, let your fire come upon it. Lift your voice and pray. Koinonia, pray. Pray your way to breakthrough. Sopata. Teka. Repotopakata. We lift up an incense of prayer. 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 Change lives. Break limits. Financial limits. Suppose Sata intellectual limits marital limits job limits we break it we break limitations business limitations ministry limitations limitations of potentials hallelujah the last prayer point hallelujah the last prayer point every time limits are broken the lord will bring a man 
to hold your hands and create the opportunity for the next level of your life are you hearing what i'm saying bishop oyedeko will say there are days and there are certain days may this night be the certain day listen your next level is in the hands of a certain man the bible says they wanted to kill joseph but a certain man came and they said they wanted to buy him if not because of that certain man they would have killed him are you following me now the bible talks about a man who was crippled he could not carry himself certain men no names they lifted him and opened the sea oh god whoever is that certain man that must appear in my destiny i come i compel them to come lift your voice and pray lift your voice destiny help us financial help us spiritual help us men of influence men of access sopotoposh rokotoposh reketetete men that will connect us to our next level men that will connect us to our next dimension please pray 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 lord we call them forth hallelujah when jesus died hear me the prophet prophesied that his body will not see corruption but he was hanging on that cross there was no place to bury him and a certain man came called joseph of arimathea an influential man if he was poor and broke the king would not hear him the bible says a poor man's wisdom is despised you are going to pray concerning your finances does it make sense to you to pray we are going to pray and say lord whoever must appear to change my financial destiny i receive their ministry come on now pray come on now pray time and chance happens to them all time and chance be it a cyrus or a son of the kingdom pray we embrace their ministry we embrace their ministry So put up photos. I call them forth. Come on, pray. I call them forth. Men of influence, kings, destiny help us, spiritual help us, financial help us, academic help us. Men of influence, men who can talk to kings. Pray. Hallelujah. Please leave your neighbor. Joseph would have died in the prison. Although anointed, there are many people here, your anointing will remain dormant until God sends a man to see it, announce it, and let the world celebrate it. John the Baptist announced Jesus' ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us, we have great ideas, great businesses, but there needs to be a certain man who will let the world know that great things are happening here. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many of you, your, your academic qualification is bigger than where you are. You have done your best. When you have done all you need to do, you need another man who is not you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? certain men certain men it was the wine presser that told the king he said i know my wrongs this day there is a man oh there is a man 
many of us have sharpened our spiritual potentials you have sharpened your leadership potentials it's not pride you know that it's time to break forth but the distance between you and the next level is that certain man lift up your hands oh god where is this certain man let him come into my life come on pray one more time takes one man to change your business one man to change your ministry one man one man hallelujah listen to me there are many of you here with great business ideas hallelujah all you need is capital you have done everything you should do you need somebody to believe in you enough hallelujah listen truly the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong one man can announce what god is doing in your life and bring to your life men who have been designed to honor it I shared that scripture to none of the widows in Israel was a prophet sent God sent that to the one who could see his difference and honor him many of you have been in a place you have potentials for the throne but something is tying you down because you are hanging around people who cannot see what God is doing in your life is God speaking to someone here there are many of our parents with their qualifications they should never have to beg even if, you, if the cost of living on earth is one million per day they should not be begging but they need one man to announce them one man to recommend them please take seriously what i'm saying because this is somebody's prayer request oh lord if somebody can believe in my business enough to pump even if it's just hundred thousand there are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us in ministry here we are great people this ministry you see today we enjoy recommendations mysterious recommendations while I was coming somebody was trying to call me again and again from the UK and he was saying man of God don't ask me how I got to find out about you and have your number he said when a man is in trouble he will look for help anyhow are you getting my point while you are sitting down to sleep somebody is waking others to talk about you but you must activate it it doesn't happen by magic are you getting what i'm saying there are many professors and doctors being underutilized because there is a system that cannot honor what they carry there are many of you who graduated with excellent results you've even added masters and the king sent for joseph somebody must send for you to leave the level that you have and i prophesy whoever should send for you in the name that is above all names listen listen there is a man of god a popular man of god i'll not mention names the man had the gift of god like whatever but nothing could announce that grace are you hearing what i'm saying people needed his anointing and his gift but nobody could announce it and then something happened one day he entered a taxi true story when he entered the taxi the holy spirit told him sow a seed of thirty thousand naira to the driver and he didn't have much and he told the driver take and he sowed that seed ah the driver looked at him he said what will i give you he said nothing he said sir can i collect your number and he collected his number please listen to me this is a true story when he collected his number the guy dropped he said talk may god bless you he was feeling bad he did not know that that was his moment of victory listen the very next person that will enter that car listen they were part of the regional organizers of redeem the convention in uk are you getting me one of the regions and then the man was talking and said, Kai, 
we are looking for a man of God to complete the ministers we are bringing and we need men of integrity you know and the driver said sir there was a man that gave me his number this guy is a true man of God and that was it I'm serious they called him and they said sorry we are from this this region of redeem I tell you they brought that man after that ministration there were so many men of God that he never would have been able to see are you getting my point they all called him and said we'd like you to come and, and minister Mike Mudok met a young man who was very gifted gifted but there was nothing working in his life and Mike Mudok looked at him and came and he said God told me to bless you he wrote 17 letters to different ministries and said this is an anointed man please open doors for him and the guy got 17 invitations everybody it does not take time to change your story what looks like a mountain is in the pocket of another person are you hearing what I'm saying are you tired of praying are you tired of praying because we must call them for I don't want to waste your time let me just share it I don't know if you share this testimony did you share your testimony Yerima? I'm not sure he shared his testimony maybe at an appointed time but let me say a bit of it what ambassador eh? Unilever this come he just came back today we met together at the airport in Abuja and then we came back together by the grace of God are you getting my point and by the ministry of just one great man prof hallelujah he has been selected as the ambassador of Unilever Nigeria I listen 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 the race is not to the swift they just came back from their training in Lagos and we even bombed I was waiting for my luggage and I just saw him and they had told me he called me in Lagos and he said he was around we never met how God can change a man's story my father worked for more than 10 or 15 years as assistant director of engineering there was no man to lift him his genius were rising and they, they, they just trampled this man and it so happened that one man who used to be his junior he when when we went for crusade in 2006 six years he was the one who interpreted for me and he was also the one who interpreted for Renard Bonke when he came to Joss he was that man on account of the kindness he went and said one or two things about my father and when they went to my father's um, CV and all of that they said where has this man been they said immediately he should leave Joss and report to Lagos he has been there for three years now many of us are praying Lord take me to the next level I'm telling you the secret you need a man hear me there are things you cannot do for yourself you may be anointed but your grace will remain there until a man can announce you may have a great business a multi-million and billion dollar business but it takes one man to believe in you and announce you are you getting my point I know one of my friends he was my classmate very intelligent and brilliant guy this guy finished furthered his education there was nobody to speak for him and this guy kept struggling for years nobody to speak for him and one day I, I prayed I said oh Lord but help this guy this guy has paid the price Look, when I say, I, I think I will classify him as a genius. And I'm not telling a lie. But I know other people, before they even finish service, the road has been made plain. You need someone in your life. Please pray and say, oh God, send this man that can believe in me and announce what you have invested in my life. Please pray. Send a man to change my music ministry, oh God send a man send a man into my family koinonia pray we are rounding up sopotopata send a man send a man send a man send a man into my life pray for your business pray for your job one recommendation is all you need one man who can believe in you struggling continues 
until there is a voice that can speak for you struggling continues until there is a man that can believe in you and invest in your grace hallelujah rise up on your feet I want to prophesy into your life I truly believe that this miracle service will bring remarkable results hallelujah lift your hands please as much as possible if you can stand stand inside and out has thou commanded thy money this system of God's kingdom does not work without it being activated hallelujah don't get too familiar that every miracle service we are speaking there is something that is happening hallelujah we are entering the eighth month and i want to pray for you right now father in the name of your son jesus christ the son of the living god i prophesy right now whoever needs to come into anyone's life for the next dimension of their lives to open up i call them forth right now in the name of jesus i call them forth right now in the name of jesus i call them forth right now in the name of jesus business help us ministry help us marriage help us anyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above all names we command by the power of the holy ghost let doors of job be open right now let it be open right now anyone called barry 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 in the name that is above all names we provoke fruitfulness we provoke fruitfulness hallelujah anything in your life that is dying business ministry potentials your gift your ideas your proposals your letters your visions your dreams in the name of the lord jesus christ i knock on the door of life and i command that let there be life 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 to that dry boat hallelujah everything that represents tragedy and disfavor in your life that it keeps working for others until it gets to your turn in the name that is above all names may supernatural doors of favor be open right now hallelujah I want to pray for your finance the Lord is leading me to do this as many of you who believe it please can you hold a seed in your hand get a seed for some of you it may be a sacrificial seed if you don't believe it just, just forget about it we don't cajole people we don't tell lies I want to speak into your finances hallelujah please lift it up Is a prayer and a duty that God will come through in every area of our life. But let me tell you something. It will take a seed to open up the heavens. Just leave the hands. Leave the hands. I want to rebuke the devourer. For some of you, this is for you a seed of mercy to speak over your non-tithing. For some of you, this is a seed of wisdom to open you up to ideas of wealth. For some of you, this is a seed of open heavens, a seed of breakthrough. Just lift it up. Lift it up. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me 11 people. The fire of God is coming on your seed from your hand. 11 people. 
11 people right now lord let your power move let them know that this is not just a conjuring of men 11 people 11 people super yatamba let that seed be salted with fire we give it a voice in the realm of the spirit please lift it up let me speak with this seed aya the power of god is moving because poverty poverty is one thing that god hates don't ever let anybody convince you that god is the author of lack and poverty your seed your seed is the key to getting out of this level trust me this is not a financial gimmick father right now with this seed in the mighty name of jesus every spirit of poverty goodness goodness how could we have ended this service without prophesying look at spirits i see it in the spirit there is an exit of wicked forces tying people's finances father in the name of jesus we release by the mystery of divine supply let there be abundance now let there be abundance now everything that has tied your financial life and that of your family we contend together as a family that it must be released in the name of jesus go ahead and drop the seed and pray in tongues quickly please we are rounding up please quickly ushers let's save time Many of you will experience breakthroughs, mighty breakthroughs. Lift your hands. We are not done, please. We are out of time. We have to hurry up. Please make sure you drop something. Make sure a seed leaves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep the hands lifted. The ushers will get to you. But please... There is somebody outside, ah, a mighty manifestation. The spirit of poverty is being broken outside. Outside, just lift your hands, please. I know we're out of time, just give me one minute. You don't need to bring the people. Outside, just keep the, the hands lifted. Father, whoever those people are, let the fire of God locate them right now. Right now, right now, right now. Poverty be broken, I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Hallelujah. Say the blessing of the Lord is my inheritance. Say the blessing of the Lord is my inheritance. And through my giving, I access that inheritance. Father, no, I'm praying for you now every limitation over anyone's life may that limitation fall now and every destiny helper that needs to come into your life to bring your life partner to bring your business partner to bring to connect you with graces in the name of jesus we release them into your life hallelujah give jesus praise Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Let me make an altar call very quickly right now. There are many of us here, you have never given your heart to the Lord. Please listen, inside and outside. We've never truly made that commitment to Jesus. Some of us have given our hearts to the Lord, but we have found ourselves derailing. And tonight, God is calling you home. Wherever you are, please leave your seat and come right now celebrate them they are coming celebrate them don't wait for anybody jump up on your feet and come outside wherever you are god is talking to you and saying you need to make your your ways right with jesus please come god bless you god bless you god bless you don't wait for anybody don't wait for anybody don't be ashamed 
I know there are a number of people outside. Jesus is calling you to make your ways right. Jesus is calling you. Keep coming. God bless you. Hallelujah. We're out of time. Keep coming. Pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my heart. Take my everything. Use me for your glory. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I make up my mind to walk with the Spirit of God. I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. And I receive the grace of God to live a victorious Christian life. Father, I pray for these ones. Bless them. Anoint them. Use them. May their decisions last. May their decisions be true. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you for coming. Thank you for making this decision. I'd like you to follow the usher. Follow the usher and he's going to lead you. Hallelujah. Now, while I take the announcement, if this is your first time of worshiping with us, I'd like you to leave your seat and just run out here. We want to bless and speak a word of prophecy over you. God bless you. We celebrate you. Outside, no matter how far you are, come. Come, encourage them, Koinonia. Encourage them. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. Come on, Koinonia. This is not the best. We are grateful people in this house. We are grateful people. He brought them by the finger of God. Hallelujah. Keep coming. God bless you. Keep coming. God bless you. Thank you so much for making our time to come. Hallelujah. We honor you. We celebrate you. This is Koinonia. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. This is our miracle service. We are here every Friday and God is building us. We want to pray and prophesy into your life right now. I want you to believe it because you will see the hand of God. The Bible says, who has believed our report and to whom the hand of the Lord has been stretched? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Saints of God, stretch your hands and let's bless them. They came because they believed that God will step into their lives. Stretch your hands. We prophesy over every aspect of your life. God is coming through for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever challenge you came here with, we are assuring you that you will not return with it. We bless you with hunger for the things of God. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with the presence of God. We bless you with love for God in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you with the favor of God. You are like a well-watered garden. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you be mightily used of God. In Jesus' name. Thank you once again for coming. Please, I'd like you to follow the usher waving his hands. They'll have your details. They'll welcome you very briefly. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you